first things first, if this video is a little fucked up, it's because I made a um, tripod for my iPhone 4 with a pack of uh, Marlboro Lights as a the lighter and the, <laughs> and the iPhone sitting on top of that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Obviously, as you can see, this is uh, something new I got today. Uh, small Sebenza 21. Um, just a plain Jane. Regular old, you know, titanium. No inlays or anything crazy. Just a regular blade. Yeah. That's a crucial part. Sorry. There's a big old greasy fingerprint on the blade. Um, let me try to get this. It's been antiqued. Where people will take, they'll take steel wool. Kind of smooth it. I actually think it looks pretty cool. I was kind of worried about how it would look, but it looks pretty cool. It's not bad. <clears throat> this one was made in, um... It was 2010. I got the birth card in the box and all that. Um... I don't know. A lot of people don't like the Sabenza. Um, and that's their thing. Like, my buddy, um, Neptune Knives made a video on it. And, you know, he's not a fan of the Sabenza. And, and that's fine. I don't understand why people get so butthurt over it. I mean, <clears throat> I understand that it's an expensive knife. And that you paid a lot of money for it. But if somebody else doesn't like it, you know, that, that's, that's their opinion. And they can have their own fucking opinion. They, you know, this, this is America. I mean, um... I don't know. I don't understand it. I happen to really like him. Um, do I believe that his fails a uh, spine lack test? Yeah, I do. I've seen it. I mean, I've seen him make it fail a spine lack test. Uh, does that really bother me? No, it, it really doesn't. Um, I don't use Sabenzas that hard or, or shit. I mean, any knife that hard, really. And if I am going to use something right here, I'm just going to use a... <coughs> A fixed blade, you know, it, it doesn't bother me that his fail. Shit, this one will probably do it too. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna try it just because I don't really have a reason to. But I mean, if he doesn't like him, you know, he's getting a lot of shit <clears throat> on that video he did. If he doesn't like it, that's his opinion. I mean, and he's welcome to that. Um, it's fine with me. He's still a super cool guy. I don't give a shit if he likes this <clears throat> or not. I mean, he's a smart guy. He knows the shit. He's born into um, tactical knives and, you know, strider stuff with a flipper or guard or choils. And, and that's his thing. <clears throat> and all the points he makes are correct. I mean, th this knife does not have very many features uh, for what you pay. It doesn't. Uh, and if you think it does, you're a fucking idiot because it doesn't. You know, you get the same 6ALV4, whatever the hell it is, AL4V titanium, you know, frame lock. Uh, it's decently thick. S30V blade, stone washed, uh, hollow grind, one thumb stud, one pod clip position. You, I mean, he's right. You don't get a lot of features. Um, but that's not why I like these knives. Uh, I like this Sabenza because when I open this knife and close this knife, to me, personally, it, it feels perfect. Um, the lock bar engages nice and strong. Uh, the tension to press the lock bar back over is very strong. Um, the blade centering is obviously perfect. The tolerances are very tight. Uh, the blade does not move at all when it's closed, like inside the handle. I mean, nothing, nothing. <clears throat> the blade does not move at all when it's open. There is zero blade play in any cements I've ever handled. Zero. No left to right, no up and down, nothing. It literally turns into a fixed blade when I open it. I mean, it really does. <clears throat> and I can't say that about any other knife I've ever handled. Does that mean <clears throat> that since it has that solid lockup that it won't fail a spine lock? No, it doesn't mean that. It, it, it probably will. I mean, shit, his does. Y'all saw it. <clears throat> um, but me personally, I don't care. That's just me. I'm not going to take a small spin and do anything crazy. I'm just going to open shit. I'm going to admire the fit and finish, the craftsmanship. Um, that's, that's why I like these knives. Nothing else, to me, this is my opinion, feels like a Sabenza when you open and close it. Nothing else locks up like a Sabenza. Nothing. Um, they have a very unique feel, a very specific feel to them. And that's why I like them. Um, you know... Some people may not. Some people do. A lot of people do. 
But I definitely don't think it's the greatest knife in the world like everybody else does. Uh, is it one of my favorite knives? Yeah, it is. Easily. Um, for the reasons I've already said. But, you know, he's right. You don't get a lot of features. You don't get a guard. You don't get a troll. You don't get any special steel. You don't get any special handle material. And it is. These are, what, 360 bucks now? Something like that for the small. Um, yeah, it's expensive. But I can tell you what you do get. Um, you do get extremely tight tolerances. You do get a great fit and finish. You do get great screws. You do get decent steel. You do get titanium. You do get a very good pod clip, which stays in your pocket good. Um, you will get a centered blade, and it will have a solid fucking lockup. Um, that's just it. And if it doesn't, then they'll take care of you. Their customer service is amazing. That's another thing. Hold on, I'll wipe my nose. That's another thing. The customer service. Hold on, this guy's doing something. The customer service is out of this world. It's fantastic. <clears throat> From my experience. Again, that's my experience. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know why people are giving him so much shit, really, to tell you the truth. If, if, it, if it offends you that much to where you feel the need, you need to say something inappropriate to him or make a comment on his video. I'm out of breath because I'm fucking fat and I'm smoking a cigarette. <clears throat> um, you seriously need to get a fucking life. I mean, really, that's all there is to it. Um, do I agree with everything he says? No, I don't. But do I go on there and talk shit on his video? No, I don't do that either. He's a great guy. Um, all of his points are valid points. Um, and if you don't like it, then <clears throat> that's your fucking problem. Anyways, I didn't mean to turn this into... You know, me just going fucking crazy. But, <clears throat> that's my news, Sabenza. There's no need to do a review. Everybody's seen this fucking knife before. Small Sabenza 21, antique finish. Really cool. I really like it. The small is a perfect everyday carry size. It doesn't take up a lot of pocket space. Um, it opens smooth. It locks up tight. It's just a great knife. Um, I'll always like him. No matter what anybody says, friend, somebody I don't like, I'll still like them. You know, I don't understand why everybody gets so butt hurt. But anyways, guys, that's it. My new small spins of 21. Thanks.